Okay, addicted to who was? Um, hey, Bill, love the podcast. I could use a bit of advice. I'm a 30-year-old man and have a bit of a problem. Over the past few years, I've become addicted to horse. Not just typical bar sluts, but full-blown professionals. Oh, jeez. Um, it's gotten so bad that I researched the girls that I see, and the majority of my time consists of going through message boards and underground communities filled with other pervs like myself who review working girls. All right, dude, you're going down a dark fucking hole. I fortunately never went down. Um, I'm already in over my head here. But, you know, whatever. You wrote in, so I'm going to fucking try and answer it, knowing full well that I am not a professional, sir. Um, He says, my problem is that I have become so addicted to this lifestyle that I cannot see myself having a traditional relationship with a woman. Yeah, absolutely. 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 You open Pandora's box, you know, dude, you, you, you have a woman who will do whatever you want and you don't have to be emotionally there for, her. you don't have to wipe your feet off. You can just, you know, talk to her wherever you want, give her some money. And then she leaves. You don't even have to cuddle. You have zero emotional responsibility. You know, that's like somebody rich who's been fucking flying around in their own jet and then all of a sudden, you know, this shit goes down like in that, that Queen of Versailles. And all of a sudden they have to get on a commercial flight and their kids are looking around going, why are all these people on, on a plane? You're in the same place. Your dick is like a billionaire, you know? And if you get into a fucking relationship at that, this point, that's like the 2008 uh, collapse, you know? Does that make any sense? All right. After experiencing this lifestyle for so long, I just cannot force myself to sit at a bar trying to convince some chick whose best years are behind her to give me a half-hearted BJ. Um, I consider myself a decent-looking guy. I think you consider yourself a lot more than that, sir. I think you stand in front of the mirror with your hands on your sides like Superman. Not hands on your hips. Hands on your hips, that's effeminate. But if you stand there with your two fists... Like that, then all of a sudden you look like you should have a cape flapping behind you. Um, I think you do that. You stand there and you're naked, you know, with like the the same distance between your feet that a state trooper has when he comes up going, do you know how fast you were going? And then you look to the side with your dick flapping in the wing because of the oscillating fan. And then you every morning just go, I am the shit. Um, that's how I think you feel about yourself. That I would just guess. Um, anyways, I think I'm a decent looking guy and I do get attention from the women, but I often find that they are not worth the effort because I get bored so quickly. Yeah, I know. Actually having to converse rather than just being like, Hey, how much for you to suck my dick? Oh yeah. I'll give you half that. Come on, work with me. Me, I'll meet you in the middle. I'll give you an extra five cause it's cold out. All right. Get in the car. Um, My problem is that I get bored with women immediately after I sleep with them. I do not fear diseases as I always use condoms. Dude, that's not 100%, by the way. I don't know why, but it is. I don't know how you can have a raincoat on your dick and still get herpes. I think because your balls are fucking hanging out of the back of the chopper, you know? (laughs) And safety. uh, I always use condoms and safety. And safety-wise, I love when you guys, like, rewrite your your fucking emails and then you delete half a sentence and then you fucking don't notice. And then you put it in here and you make me look even dumber than I am. Anyways, I guess he uses condoms. He said it would be, it would be, it would be just as dangerous sleeping with a random bar slut who doesn't force their partners to use condoms. Uh, no, it wouldn't, sir. No, it wouldn't. Cause it's a numbers thing. All right. Some bar slut who doesn't use condoms versus some woman who fucks professionally. Okay, that's like you throwing the football around in the backyard saying you're just like Tom Brady. Okay, it's, it's, it's not the same thing. But I know you're saying that to make yourself feel, feel better. He said, I fear never being able to have a normal relationship with the woman down the road. I feel like my internal wiring got crossed somewhere and I need a wide variety of women to keep me sane. I really want to fuck every woman I see, but unfortunately I can, cannot swing a golf club, so I got to pay for it. <laughs> Any way out of this. Love the podcast. Yeah, I, you need to go to therapy. Um, I got to tell you, though, once you, once you, I don't know. Yeah, you, you, need, you need to go seek professional help, sir. I would, I would, 
I would say that because uh, you've gone down a road for so long and you keep coming around the track the same way. You've worn this groove in and it's very hard to get out of. And uh, you have to sit down and want to do the work and you, you have to work with professional and figure out if you have a sex addiction, addiction or whatever. One of the, Dr. Drew, you know, if you can't afford it, I would call Dr. Drew. But even then, he's only going to talk to you for a minute. Have him guide you in the right direction, though, because uh, that guy is is he kind of he gets right to it. I've done his show a couple times. He's fucking unreal. Um, so that would be my suggestion. I would say uh, first and foremost, stop fucking prostitutes because you are going to catch something. And every and not only that, every everyone that you bang or have blow you or whatever, it's just another step further down a direction you don't want to go. And then also, it's a terrible thing to do, you know, to solicit a prostitute. You're basically, you know, something horrible happened to her, and then you're taking advantage of it. It's it's fucking horrific. Um, So there you go. I hope I helped you out. I know I gave you a lot of shit throughout that, but I hope I helped you out because that is a serious problem. Okay, 